One of the great blessings of being Catholic is knowing that you are part of a joyful church. So when you have good news, you naturally want to share it, to let others know what has happened to you. And that is exactly what Anthony Stone of East Peoria shared with us. You see, Anthony has cystic fibrosis and is legally blind. And why the Make-A-Wish Foundation got Anthony a front row pew to meet Pope Francis, receive his blessing, and a big hug. Since then, this non-Catholic boy has joined the Catholic Church and is even thinking about becoming a priest. The Catholic clergy and uh, the priesthood, it's not a career, it's a calling. It's a calling from God. And when God calls you to do something, do it. Anthony is now a student at Notre Dame High School. He is smart, funny, and one of the most popular kids in school. All the students are really nice. They, uh, they assist me, like if I need help with something, they will assist me in any way they can. And uh, every time I walk by, people just wave to me, say hi to me. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's great. I, I enjoy Notre Dame. Principal Randy Simmons has become Anthony's biggest champion. He feels that he has been a blessing to students, teachers, and in particular to himself. I have to tell you, he has done more um, for me on a spiritual note. And so um, I'm uh, uh, probably more grateful to Anthony than anything we can ever author, uh, offer Anthony um, because of what he's done for, for our school, for me spiritually. Uh, for my soul, but I have to tell you that's um, one of the best gifts God's ever given me was putting Anthony in, in my life, and I love that boy. The entire community has reached out to support this new young Catholic boy. A gentleman came up to me, um, he wanted to be anonymous, gave, came up and he asked about Anthony, and uh, Anthony's place in our building, and you know, what's this Anthony Stone, what's this all about? And I explained the situation to him, and he said, I will be mailing you a check for $1,000 to help him with his tuition. He felt as good about wanting to donate the money as we felt about helping Anthony receive it. But good news also comes to Catholic families right here in our midst that we never knew existed, like immigrant families from Burma that live in Rock Island, the Lamcons who found the open arms of one Kathy Roller. Kathy, who comes from an immigrant family herself, knows full well the hardships and worries of coming to a new country. It's amazing the joy that we can receive by reaching out to someone that's different than ourselves. We should be welcoming. We should be kind. We should be servants. Kathy and others reached out to the entire Burmese community of the Quad Cities to help. She prays with them, eats with them, and then helps navigate the ups and downs of assimilating to a new country. And no news could be better than the joy of ordaining a new priest into our diocese. But Deacon Lee Brokaw has a special story. You see, he wanted to become a farmer and was well on his way until he came to the Newman Center at the University of Illinois. I grew up on a family farm in rural western Illinois, just outside of the town of Raritan, and my home parish is St. Patrick's. And I would say at the University of Illinois, at the Newman Center, a great priest, Monsignor Greg Ketchum, Father Luke Spanigal, these are priests that started to plant the seed in me that it's just possible that our Lord could be calling you to be a priest. And obviously that was met with a lot of panic, a lot of, I don't think so, I'm gonna be a farmer. I'm also excited as a farm kid and one who has a tremendous passion for agriculture to use my priesthood really as a, as a, as a foundation and a platform to reach out to farmers and those involved in production agriculture. Now, with the prayers and financial support from the entire diocese, he will become Father Brokaw on May 27th. You think about the diocese and the sacrifice that a lot of people on a daily basis make for us guys to, to spend six years in the seminary. So on May 27th, I'll be ordained a priest in the Cathedral of St. Mary here in Peoria, and I'm excited to share my priesthood with the people of the diocese. But even then, 
his two feet will always be firmly rooted in the rich soil of central Illinois. And finally, no one is experiencing more true joy in giving of themselves than Evelyn Ryberty. You see, Evelyn and her band of volunteer parishioners from Pontiac, Odell, Flanagan, and Cullum provide the food, clothing, words of encouragement, and prayers to all who come to their food pantry on a daily basis. We have an average of 125 to 150 families per week that come in to us. Evelyn feels that when you give without any expectation of receiving in return, you will be truly blessed. If anyone feels alone and lost, whether that it be a food pantry, whether that it be anything, give your time, give of yourself, because you will receive far more than you have ever, ever needed to feel. So there's, there's a gift in, in giving, in volunteering, a tremendous gift that you get. Dear friends, I would like to give you the secret of how to be happy in this life. It's simple. We were made by God to know God. And our happiness, our joy, comes in knowing Jesus Christ. He is the way to the Father. He sends us his Holy Spirit, and we are to be his hands and his hearts in this world. All other goods are relative to the joyous good of knowing the Lord. The reason that we have parish churches, the reason why we have schools, the reason why we have Newman centers, the reason why we have so many ministries in our parishes is to serve the Lord and to bring the Lord to everyone we meet. Knowing Christ gets us through tough times, and in this life there are tough times. Knowing the Lord makes the good times even better. People who know Christ have a peace and a joy that this world cannot take away. Every member of this diocese is called to be a disciple. And the gift of your time and energy, the gift of your prayers, and yes, your financial sacrifices truly make a difference in the life of this church. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and make you happy in this life and in the world that is to come.